Hello everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo, the beta version, where we are here with Strange Chicken, one of our founding members of Hopeful Horizons Zoo. And he is here with his red beak possibly indicating that he is ready to have even more offspring, of which we have many, and many of whom have helped us to truly transform the future of this zoo. So I finally, finally, finally have made a little bit of headway with conservation credits. Holy cow, I can't not wait until we are able to go ahead and have the daily challenges, the weekly challenges, the monthly challenges to be able to do so that I can earn conservation credits some other way than having to just have tons of baby ostriches be born and then putting them up on the, uh, the wonderful, there we go, let's get this refilled putting them up on the wonderful, extremely challenging animal market. But la last time we actually had a female ostrich that I went ahead and I tried putting on the market for a hundred and we got a hundred conservation credits. Can I have my dreams of warthogs be fulfilled? Trying to get our hands on a female warthog is like one of the most ridiculous things ever. Let's go ahead. We're going to flip this around a little bit. No, no, no. I want to see who's the cheapest on the market right now. An Indian peafowl? Yes. I'll go ahead and adopt another Indian peafowl for oh, three. Oh, three was too good, huh? All right. What about this one? No, I don't want her. Oh, thank goodness. I, I suddenly realized like her fertility was terrible, uh, but I want female animals and I'm looking for a warthog because apparently they breed really well. And so it'd be really worth it. Okay, that's 50. I mean, I could put up with this one. 20. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I thought she was worth five again. <gasps> Wait, zebra. Oh my gosh. Is there a male zebra? Oh, there's so many new things in here already. I'm so tickled to pieces. Holy cow. That zebra has terrible breeding, so we won't be focusing on the zebra. Look at the garl. I've heard that the garl really breed very well, too. You guys, we might finally be able to make some progress. I'm so happy. So we want a warthog. And then, because they breed really well, I hear. And then, can I find female and male? And we want common warthogs because they will hang out in an exhibit we already have built. I'm actually thinking we can expand the exhibit. Nala has just given birth. So here's our male warthogs. Apparently you can get pretty decent male warthogs like in the 50 and 70 range. And then if I want a female just warthog, 295. Okay, I know what we need to do. We need to find another one of our female ostriches and we need to put her up for adoption. Do I have any strange... Yes, I do have one that has just grown up. Oh, thank goodness. We do. We have another female who has actually just grown up. So let's come over. This male is in the trade center. Okay, there we go. I need this female. Any who are not my originals. So I guess what I need to start doing is I need to start species common ostrich. I probably need to start looking at the maturity. Cat is already in the trade center. Joy already in the trade center. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send Nam Mia here to the trade center. Uh, Asha is starting to get a little bit old. The ostriches I think will live, no, they'll live to like 40. Let's check that. Let's send her to the trade center really quickly. Uh. Latasha, Namisha. Oh, are these both? Yeah. Yeah, both adult female ostriches. Cool. Maybe we'll have enough to finally get a new animal. <laughs> I would love that. And let's look at the ostriches. I believe that they will actually live, yeah, till 46 years. So even in the 20s, Asha is just midway and she will continue to have babies as time goes on. Oh, water treatment failing. Mechanic requested. I might need to get more mechanics. We'll check in on our staff in just a minute here. Because I'm a little con- Whoa, people! I'm a little concerned about our staff. Uh, you know, maybe we should make this exhibit bigger since we have so many ostriches running about. And let's go to animal trading. By all that is hopeful, please, <laughs> please, my dear, I need you to go forth. I need to trade you, okay? I need you to bring in, let's try 140 on a female ostrich for her. 
And then this one's even higher quality. Trade. Please, please, please. Let's try. Let's try 230 on her. And if they don't sell pretty quickly, then what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and we will get a, a new price on that. We'll just put them for 100 so that I can try to get something new before the beta ends. <laughs> oh, I'm learning so much about how you need to really protect those conservation credits. Also, so much about how we need to take care of our animals. Or our animals, I meant the zoo guest. And they're not animals. They're guests. I shouldn't have said that. We want to get our education up. Scenery is apparently great. Guest happiness is pretty high. Uh, the number of animals. They would like to see more conservation with releases into the wild. I'll probably yank the boys off the market. Uh, and then possibly... Let's raise the price on the tickets a little bit. 12 for adults, 6 for kids. And let's check on staff. Oh, so tired. The keepers, I think we need another keeper. All right, let's add in a new keeper. And I, I don't have my random list to name the keepers after you guys this time, but that's because we're gonna be ending, sadly, this whole exhibit, like all of the things we have done will be gone. My heart breaks for that because I've gotten so attached to so many of them. <laughs> oh, but we'll be able to get more in the future. All right, let's put down another keeper. So that we have Thaddeus here. I like the name. And he can help out. And let's get another caretaker. Because we're getting more and more buildings that are going to need a little bit of attention. We have three vendors. And let's get another vet. I think we should... Do we'll hold off on that for just now. But let's actually go ahead and... Oh, we need to adjust keep architect says. Architect Sammy, you're not happy with your pay? Here, I'll raise it by like 200. There we go. Now he should be happier with his pay. As he should be because he has actually completed... Ta-da! Another drinks research. Wonderful. Architect Sammy, if you could, let us start researching on food. And meanwhile, our vet has completed... Ta-da! More on our frog, which I'm really excited about. Holy cow, I wish I could change the Habitat Education Board... Do I have anything to add more education that I could put in our little swamp area? Also, I need to make it look more swampy. All right, how can I take care of our dart frogs? <gasps> Bromeliads! I was just telling you guys last time about the awesome relationship that the dart frogs have with bromeliads. There, look, there's bromeliads added now. Oh, and these guys have hats. They have little visors on. So cool! And now that sustainability is up for our little animals, hopefully that will help them. Oh gosh, that makes me happy. Alright. Oh, I thought this number was my conservation credits and I got excited. Fooey. Alright, animal trading. Come on, ladies. Come on. I really, really need you to go find somewhere to go. Come on, guys. I'm kind of desperate. All right, you know what? I'm desperate enough. We're going to cancel trade. Let's drop the price on this female to 100. Sell. There. And let's see what happens. Because I think the little warthoggies would have many, many a baby very quickly. And we could work from there. Uh, and then let's work on... I guess let's work on getting another... What else do people want us to do? Inspector, guest, happiness. Oh, they need places to sit and they're hungry and thirsty. Gotcha. Let's actually have a little food area back here. That would be fun. And for the paths, I'm trying to think how could you do... That's a queue. Can I do like a raised path somehow? I'm not sure how to do raised paths just yet. Up and down? Up, down? No? Okay. We'll figure it out eventually. All right, let's see about the facilities we can put over here first. So, information centers, food stalls. Oh, an ATM! I didn't even think about that. We probably do need an ATM. Pip shot water. Let's see what about food stalls. There's a food shop right here. Chief beef, which is totally, we'll say, not actual beef. 
Uh, can I make just like a huge... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can put the paths down somehow. So we'll do like chief beef over here. And then on this side... Pip shot water? Gulp slushy? Slushy, because it's kind of slushy because you're in a swamp. Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Alright, we'll put this down over here. There we go. Let me see about the pathing. Maybe some round logs to connect the two. And I want to connect it like everywhere here. Yes, please. Right here. In here too, please. Yes, right over there. Like, I want I want all of the path connected. Ah, uh, okay, I'll figure it out eventually. Oh jeez! That is not what I meant by figure it out eventually. <laughs> Just for the record. That's fine. Rustic path. There we go. Nice little log path. Alright, we'll just, we'll start here. You know, sometimes this is just all you can really ask for. I kind of like changing this for the swampy look in here. That is kind of fun. Just to develop a little bit of that different look. There. What a mess. That's fine. <laughs> I think, I think making a huge mess out of all of it Oh, and you can do natural paths <gasps> with curb relling? What? That's really cool too. Okay, that's awesome. See, I'm learning so much every time we do this. This is awesome. Uh, all right, I need to put the roof on, but I guess the walls are more important. And let's get my favorite walls, these wooden planks. Swing it around. And... Almost. Boom. There we go. Doom doom. There we go. Doom doom. There we go. Nice. Very happy with that. There we go. Alright. Big old window. There we go. Awesome. Now to see if I have sold- <gasps> I've sold the female ostrich! We have 317! This is not a drill! This is not a drill! Let me put the roofs on this thing and then get out of here! Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Uh, okay, we're gonna put the roof out like this again? Maybe? A little bit? Maybe a little bit like this? Uh, that'd be kind of weird. Alright, let's put the roof on this. There we go. And then, yeah, I think I'll maybe do it like this. And then can I just raise it? I'll raise it independently and put down some columns in a minute. But enough of this nonsense. I have sold a female ostrich. We have important things to do. Let me just toss down, very importantly, a couple, a couple of these benches. People are going to be very tuckered out and want a place to rest. So I want to have a little bench over here. Picnic bench. And then I'm going to put down some bins because I do not want people making a mess. I want them to learn proper... You know, reduce, reuse, recycle goals. There we go. All right, come on, get in here. You gotta lead by example sometimes, you know what I mean? So we'll put down the bins and then I will freak out with sheer joy and excitement, go forth and find ourselves a new animal. All right, the bins, the bins! I can't believe how customizable everything is. It is so customizable to the point of getting yourself in trouble with it being so easy to just make a mess of things. All right. Oh, look at that little dad and his daughter. That's so sweet. All right. I'm out of here. Give me some new animals. Give. Let's go ahead and adopt out. We're going to cancel this and we're going to do a trade with this ostrich for a hundred. Here we go, my dear. We'll go ahead and sell you. And then on to the- Oh wait, I have an ostrich hiding in here! What am I doing? Come along, dear! I need to get you out so that we can start having some babies. Get into the Garden of Feathers. There we go. And then get me over here. And for crying out loud, <laughs> show me, like, what is a female that I can afford from the animal selection? <laughs> A gem's brock? 
Does she just have like really, oh, she's beautiful. I wanted Jim's Brook, but I think they breed really slowly. There's a warthog for 200. <gasps> it's up here with no fertility. Why? All right, common warthog for 295. All right, we're going with the warthog for 200. I really hope I won't regret this. Please, please. We did it! We finally, finally, finally have a warthog. I am so happy. I have never wanted to kiss a little warthog face more in my whole life. And do we have a male that we can afford somewhere in here? I want high fertility. I don't really care about other things. We do. And we adopted out another one of our animals. Ah! All my keepers like freaked out for a second. You guys, we have warthogs now. We're gonna have to expand the exhibit. Uh oh, we have another male. Strange chicken. Oh, it's just strange chicken and doggo fighting, but uh, Sahi is gonna be ready. We'll release Sahi to the wild really quickly. All right. I'm so happy. You two need to stop fighting. They're not going to. Maybe I should make, I should make two ostrich areas. Why didn't I think about this before? All right. We're gonna release Salhi to the wild. There you go, buddy. And hopefully that actually counts maybe a little bit towards our conservation. Uh, probably not, because he's not like an endangered species, but hey, I gave it a good try. And then vet research is done on our poison dart frog, just in time to welcome our warthogs. <laughs> I've never been so happy to have warthogs, ever. Come on in, you two. Gathered from the far ranges of different zoos. We're gonna go ahead and have both of you come in here. Hopefully we will have everything ready for warthogs. Uh, I think we should build a second like ostrich run over here so that we can give the ostriches a little bit of personal space since we have so many of them now. And now I'm adding in warthogs. So I actually think that's a great idea. But let's make sure that we're prepared for warthogs. So we're going to come in. Species. Common warthog. There we go. We have forge box. We have sprinklers. All right. We need... Let's get a large food trough in here. I think that sounds like a good idea. We'll even put it close to the entrance. And then we have a water spot. So we already have fresh water coming on in. So they should be fine there. All right, what do you think? Yes, he's happy. Bakari the warthog is already happy and good to go. And he has a beautiful female named Latifa, who hopefully will be extremely happy with what she finds, ready to go forth, ready to find a mate. I am so ready for that to happen. In fact, I'm so ready, I'm gonna speed up just a little bit. Let's make sure we don't have any other common warthog one alert. <gasps> Princess Beauty has given birth to her father's chicks, but thankfully the inbreeding isn't added in just yet, so we're fine. But Princess Beauty has had a baby, a female named Prisha. What a beautiful name for a beautiful little peafowl baby. Oh, this is thrilling. Imagine when this is going to be our permanent zoo, guys. And imagine when we are going to watch it grow together through all of the ups and downs, through all of the sticking peafowl statues in trees, through all of the unexpected twists and turns of having a million little ostrich babies running around. Do we have everybody we need? All right, do we have any grown up males or anybody, any females ready to go? Nom Nomshua, I think Nomshua is ready. Let's see, welfare? In transit to Habitat 2. Did we have an escapee? Bakari? Oh, maybe a little disease, but I think Bakari is good now. There you go, Bakari. Settle in and enjoy, buddy. He already knows he's the alpha warthoggy, so I'm sure he's gonna be fine. And we'll get him fed. Oh, look at that. Mechanic research is done. So speaking of getting them fed, we're getting a more research done on food. Ooh, pizza pen. I want to get like some nice pizza going on in here. Man, I make a mean vegan pizza. All right. So I think, yeah, look, the warthogs are swimming. So nice. And oh, Nomusha. She's a gold star, beautiful ostrich. 
I think that she actually has great jeans. She does, look at that, across the board, she has great jeans. I kind of want to keep her because she's so good. And we can set up a new ostrich area to begin breeding in. So I think that's what we're going to do next time, guys. We have tried out so many things so far. I'm desperately fighting against the upcoming, <laughs> the upcoming end that I do not want to happen of running out of time to be able to do even more. But I'm loving everything we've done so far. It's just, it's just fantastic. Look at the broken Scots pine. Oh, I can't, I just cannot wait to be able to just decorate with all of these things. This is so fun, making it look like the old trees are kind of like holding up this pillar piece. Ah, that's so cool. This is so much fun. <laughs> All right, I'm having literally the time of my life and so freaking happy. I hope you guys are enjoying as well. This is definitely an adventure as we continue to figure out like how to put down this, how to put down that. When we come back next time, we will make a new area for our animals so that they no longer have to worry about competing with one another, our wonderful ostriches. We have plenty of room and they're doing such a great job of really keeping our fantastic oh my gosh this is all moss this is all moss i am so happy i just realized what i was putting down i thought it was a rock in the darkness and it's moss <laughs> okay when we come back friends we will make a new place for the ostriches and i will continue to find just the surface level of the details of this amazing amazing game that are making me fall in love in whole new ways. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Warthogs and Moss. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, <gasps> look at that moss. Oh, that's beautiful. Do please consider subscribing, but most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.